Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Aiden Corner. We have Lana's Hot, or Lana Eye Shot, if you prefer. I'll just go by Lana Upper Aiden Corner as the Brown Zerg. I'm also wondering if Lana is his wife. I'm not sure. I'm wondering who Lana is, actually. Six o'clock location. I think it's his, his wife. Six o'clock location. We have Advil as the Orange Terran. Advil, a veteran in Hasu League, a fantastic player. Lana, very active in the CPL community, also a pretty solid player. Lana will, is going to have the PVT tested here as the lone Protoss in this group with three other very skilled Terran. This is on Power Bond as well, which feels like a nightmare, honestly, for Protoss in the mid game, in my opinion, because it's very, very challenging to defend against those mid game vulture harassments where it's much, much easier for Terran to secure a third and play it either direction. Although once you start extending past that point, Arbiter drops, or Arbiter recalls, I should say, can be a solid factor. We'll see if we see either form of play. Looks like we're seeing an initial potential front door seal from Advil, which oftentimes is indicative of something more creative to start. Does open up either the opportunity to go for two factory play or put your opponent on the back foot, go factory expand. I'm actually a little bit surprised to see this, though, considering how wide Power Bond is as a map. So Barracks along the front. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be potentially an initial front door seal. A simulator warping in for Lana, not opting to go for any sort of initial two gate play. We'll see if there's going to be an initial zealot built or there's just going to be movement straight to Dragoon. SCV was initially looking like it might go to the top right, but it looks like it's going to be a clockwise scout, so coming across Lana's base in the final position. Unfortunately, but gas being grabbed, which means this isn't going to be a barracks into expand build on the 6 o'clock from Advil, some for, so some sort of factory start. 3 SCV making their way into gas. Probe making its way across as well, anti-clockwise. So Lana end up going to end up with last scout as well. Also unfortunate. No initials out being constructed. So it looks like it is going to be straight to Dragoon. Probably not going to be in time to stop that initial SEV scout, but will be in time to create some havoc after that. Because there is an opportunity to maybe fake a range upgrade. Marine holding the ramp to go ahead and blockade the probe scout opposite side. Initial factory being constructed. We do see two SCV off the line. No Supply Depot to blockade to go for the pure break. It is possible that the probe might be able to sneak across. We'll see, though. Range is spinning. Looks like Advil is going to see. It's also going to see that third pylon drop. Because that's the other thing a Terran will oftentimes look for, is that third pylon. So Lana actually dropping that pylon right in the SCV's face. Like, yes, I am playing you heads up. Statement. A lot of Marines being constructed. So it's looking to me like we're going to see something. They're all on the front as well. So Lana loses the probe, but critically sees the three S uh, the, the three Marines. And we'll see if it sticks to just a three Marine count, or if we see a fourth Marine or a fifth Marine on top of it. This is still an opportunity. So a bunker being built, still an opportunity to follow this up with a potential push play. The SCV is still alive out in the main, the Dragoon actually making its way all the way to the natural expansion rather than dealing with the SCV scout. Gonna let the second Dragoon maybe do the work, but the information's been scouted. No second gateway as of yet. Nexus being constructed instead. Range being finished. Lana having a lot of trouble dealing with this SCV scout. Dragoon taking a lot of base damage, but is in position, I kind of like that move, in position to deal with that Vulture and keep it back. However, the Marines bullying that Dragoon back which is going to still open up that vulture, some breathing room to make its way out. Engineering Bay being constructed to respect the Dark Templar pay, uh, play. Machine Shop being dropped as well. And I do like that Lana was prioritizing getting these Dragoons out on the front. Very, very necessary. That SCV is still alive. These Dragoons are just being straight up lazy. And that SCV might actually make it out. Probe hiding to the north. SCV moving out to check that third. I kind of like Lana's strategy potentially here. We'll see. Go for a second gateway. Get the Dragoons right in your opponent's face to try to mitigate mid-game vulture play. 
and then grab a quick third. Looks like maybe going to keep in mind this is double ramp. So the vultures can come from multiple directions, which re requires a massive amount of pylons to blockade. Mines being upgraded. Three dragoons, however, are out on the front. This sneaky vulture could go plant some mines in no man's land between here and get some very quick kills. SV hanging out very beleaguered mid-map. Two gateway play from here. Advil has that second base and is now grabbing the third after two gateways. Let's see if that vulture is able to find it or if it does, does go for the, yeah, the sneaky mines. Well, excuse me, along that reinforcement route, a probe actually making its way out. Ooh, Lana might have been trying to play monk style and grab another quick third. The SCV wandering out is not going to find the third here, but still does have an opportunity to check the upper corner. Probe wandering out, dropping a pylon defensively, maybe to see some sort of drop. Second factory being grabbed from Advil. Vulture's been spotted. Mine is going to explode, do some solid base damage, and it looks like that probe actually going to be spotted, making its way out as well. This SCV actually could be a huge hero if it just wanders out and spots this base, because that could be very critical information, or sees the, this, sees the probe transfer. It was on the mini-map. I don't know if it's going to be recognized, though. I don't see any reaction from Advil in the form of additional factories or a quick third command center as of yet, though. So we'll see. Dragoons currently holding control across that natural expansion. They have done a pretty good job of mitigating vulture play here in the mid-game. Citadel of Adun upgrading two additional gateways being plopped down, looking for more gateways than this, because this is actually decent production off two bases. Maybe see some tech off it as well. So leg speed upgrading and a move now. Look at this move from Advil. I think he did see the trooping out there. So pushing out with the three siege tanks and Marines. And I think he had enough to actually continue to push that. Five Dragoons and this versus the three siege tanks, even without siege would have been plenty, but instead doesn't like what he sees and backs off. Maybe because of the potential of reinforcements. Actually, uh, kind of kind of shocked. More troops being moved, more probes explicitly being moved to the top left. Surprised by that play. Academy being built. Double machine shop now. Now going to unload and maybe... Yeah, siege up. Easy kill right there. And that should send Lana running. And Advil maybe wanting to just grab that third base from the ground. Not a lot of troops to Lana's name right this second. Although a 20 supply lead. A lot of that, however, in workers. And Zealots out of position. The Zealots... One mine left out there from that initial... Vulture, some mines being planted, or sorry, some turrets being planted to deal with drops, Dark Templar, and the like. Two additional factories being tacked on. Lana in an okay economic position. Looks like Lana wants to grab a fourth at the nine o'clock. More troops starting to push forward to stymie a potential low ground third. That single zealot that ate that mine earlier. And I do mean eight. I just picked it up off the ground as it was coming at him and let the fire hit his face like a refreshing mountain spring water, but explosive and fire because that's how zealots roll. Zealots do have speed. A little harder. It's still very easy to micro vultures against them, but not as easy as unspeed upgraded. Oh, and they're bundled up. So a lot of splash damage across a lot of them. Still no observer. Mine's only a single mine remaining with what's left. This is a lot of zealots, actually. Good mine diffusing by those zealots. No fourth base as of yet at the nine o'clock. Probe still waiting to take it. Still no observatory as well. Stargate otherwise. And Advil being very, very slow. So just now tacking on the fifth factory and a starport, but so it looks like it is going to be a ground push, but down 30 supply. Maybe feeling not the best about grabbing that third because he's trying to take it by ground. Lana has grabbed for a has gone for a fourth. But in Lana's favor, I think this has been off a single a single upgrade engine. And actually, I take that back. I'm looking. I'm looking in the background and I don't see any upgrades running. So Advil gonna try to play this, I guess, just pure army. Vulture able to sweep through power bond. Ooh, and these probes exposed, making their way upper left, which will reveal some, it looks like 
Yeah, well, actually, no. So they didn't attack the probes, so they are going to be able to sneak across. They'll find the base. The probes wandering back out, unfortunately. Two of them losing their lives on bad orders there, it looks like. The vulture's still going to be dispatched. But Lana with a very strong economy now. Okay, there is plus one weapons. Where is it? Okay, it's just under here. There's the armory. Hidden behind the wall and the natural expansion. So there, there is a single factory, or a single armory, but no double armory to run with here. So I presume this is going to be a sooner rather than later push. In fact, we're seeing it right now. Some dragoons and some zealots on the opposite flank. How many gateways do we have to work with? We got three gateways, two more coming online. A scout being built. Single Goliath on the front, the Zealots marching forward. A lot of tanks have not been sieged, so they should be able to dispatch the Zealots fairly easily. Big mine on the Dragoons, taking them some Marines with it, but well worth it. And there's still six siege tanks remaining. Supply counts even, which puts Advil theoretically ahead, but Advil needs to make a move on and start wiping something out if he just sits. Lana should, with this economy, be able to resupply very, very easily. And right now, he's holding. Still hasn't grabbed his third. And hasn't really started assaulting any of these bases. Which is a huge mistake here. So wiped out the attack forces, reset the supply counts to even. We've got a scout out, by the way. Which actually might play pretty well. Another probe wandering. What's with the probes for Lana? That <laughs> are like, yes, I want to die. It's a vulture play. Three o'clock base has that pylon that's getting taken care of. But yeah, Advil still hasn't made any maneuvers to continue a push. There is a second armory now. So it looks like he wants to wait for plus two weapons, plus one armor. He's building a command center interior to base. But wow, this is late. And he really needed to build that on the low ground with the positional control he's got, especially against four base Protoss that's fully saturated at this stage. Two more gateways. Arbiter Tribunal. Zealots doing some mind drag shenanigans at the three o'clock, it looks like. Vulture's still hanging out on the high ground. Dragoon was wiped out. <laughs> the scouts. So I guess where vultures run free, the scouts are going to run around and be annoying. A decent attack force mid-map. But Lana pretty well shelled up here and in a position to go ahead and grab another Nexus at the 10 o'clock location. Just needs to, yeah, keep the gateway count up, keep macroing up. High Templar joining the fray. I like to see that. Psystorm, Caldera Amulet. I assume Psystorm's already finished. Advil now starting to move. Is this as plus two weapons? No, this is a ways off. So kind of an off timing as well. Maybe wants to wander up and grab that third, but right now economically behind. Supply behind as well. Lana doesn't have a large army grouped up to engage this and is engaging on the bridge, which makes that siege shot so much stronger. Let's see if that scout wanders up. There are two Goliaths to help deal with that. The Zealots starting to march out and group up. High Templar. Very, very exposed on the map like this. Vultures can swing by and pick them off extremely rapidly. So Advil going to float out and try to grab this expansion. Lana checking this location for the third, but going to wander in and dive towards the natural expansion. Some mines clearing out some of the zealots, but that is going to draw a lot of the attack force back. Never mind counterattack. So Advil going to attack that nine o'clock location. While Lana walking in some troops, loses the High Templar, not able to expend a Psy Storm. Another High Templar exposed, also not able to drop a Psy Storm. Killed a handful of SCVs, but lost the entirety of the army and really didn't... Honestly, SCVs did a lot of work here in the natural, defending that as well. And now the nine o'clock base is exposed. Not the best engagement for Lana. Lana moving right back out. Nadville maybe moving to the natural expansion. Tanks on siege, greeting some Goliaths and Dragoons. Nice situation. There are no upgrades, by the way, on the other side from Lana, nor Arbiter support. Command center has floated out. Nine o'clock's been opened up, so Advil starting to take control of this game. 20 supply lead for Lana, but that army all over the place and not where Advil is critically. So Advil could actually double expand and maybe even do a critical push out and grab control over that natural expansion. Single side storm over that siege tank. So nine o'clock base is going to hold, but a group of siege tanks and SCV to do some repair work 
grouping up towards the natural Dark Templar alongside. Initial comm set to clear it out. That one felt like it appeared out of nowhere. That was weird. Might have just been me and my eyes, but Arbiter now moving up. Additional comm sats being dropped, but Admiral overextended a bit. Sorry for bumping my mic there. We have more Psy Storm. Psy Storm beautifully blanketing those siege tanks this time, wiping out everything. More comp sat being dropped, but the tanks keep retreating out of that vision range. Now there's nothing defending Advil's third. Arbiter just chasing everything down. It can actually just exit out. Good army resupply that can attack at any location. Lana just has to keep up with the macro here. 40 supply ahead. I think stasis might have been upgraded here. We have enough energy for stasis that... Let's see if this Goliath gets stasis as it runs forward and engages. The Arbiter should be able to kill that Goliath if it gets first shot. Lana regrouping. Some vultures trying to stream out. They wanted to go ahead and engage here at the 9 o'clock. There's still a cannon line to escort them in. Quickly able to comp set. Not able to kill the Dark Templar, however. Not a lot of defenses at this corner. That Arbiter is still hanging out. And actually with enough energy, I don't think recall was upgraded, but also a decent recall position. Battle probe in the midst of this. The vulture's getting wiped out, but turrets getting cleared. Still plenty of mines. Let's see if the zealot marches forward to go do some mine clear. Yes. Nice play there to the north and all sorts of mines getting wiped out. A Dark Templar losing its life, but this third being breached. All sorts of SCVs grouping up, and with the splash from the siege tanks, costing a lot of SCVs their lives. So Advil way behind in the worker count. Lana gonna back up. That probe lives. Way to go, probe. Saw a taste of battle and is going to... That's unusual for a probe to see the taste of battle and live to tell the tale. But I like seeing it. Big economic lead for Lana. Double the supply, nearly, of Advil. Still behind on upgrades. Zero. Versus level 2, level 1, so that mech army still hits hard. Base is sailing, and also all sorts of pylons and goodies being dropped to that corner. Let's see if some additional forges are constructed as well. Lana sneaking out. Advil recognizing he needs to get something accomplished as Lana's hitting near 200 supply, moving up towards that 9 o'clock base. A single probe wandering up, finding nothing here at the 3 o'clock. Grouping up to go ahead and engage across that 9 o'clock. Siege tanks able to peel through that initial edge, but now the Arbiter sweeping in. There is a science vessel there, but it is not enough energy for a stasis, but it doesn't matter. Lana just has too many beautiful side storm well placed on top of the siege tanks that were already clumped. And a continuation attack to Advil's third. Advil in a desperate situation now. Dark Templar just attacking troops on the ground. They're detectable, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. This is potentially a GG moment. Yep, there's GG from Advil. As Lana overrunning the third. Great play from Lana, getting economically up. Doing good macro. Holding that lead on, honestly, I'm going to say a tough map for Protoss. So well played altogether. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.